our goal here is we're pulling the code required to build things into its own special place of the application. We can do that using dependency injection. We can do that using a service locator. But the end, the overarching principle is, so we, we need to clear something up here. This is really important. Um, so people are confused, and I, listen, I was really confused about this. So the difference between dependency injection and service location, I always mix them up. Um, so here's the thing. This whole wor this word, dependency injection, um, there's a problem. Let's, let's actually get a little more specific here. Um, I, I don't like this name dependency injection. It just confuses people. Okay, so, but I'll use it for now. So constructor arguments, which we call constructor injection in our big technical language, is a way of achieving a principle. So, or a way of, or, or a way of implementing a concept. Um, the service locator is a way of achieving a principle or implementing a concept. So what is missing from most people's understanding about dependency injection and service location is the root principle. Now this root principle has a stupid name. Um, I believe it's called uh, inversion of control. So depend, constructor injection or field injection or a service locator, these are all ways of, of applying this principle of inversion of control. This is a stupid name. Um, it doesn't tell you anything about what's going on or very remotely. So let me share with you some wisdom from someone who I consider to be an even better teacher, to be honest, than Uncle Bob, Martin Fowler. So, inversion of control. Let, so, as defined by Martin Fowler. Inversion of control as defined by Martin Fowler, <laughs> Martin Fowler is the principle of separating configuration from use. So this is what this big stupid word means. We're separating configuration from use. So this, whether we're doing constructor injection or we're doing field injection or we're using a service locator, we're applying this principle, separating co configuration from use. Let me, um, this that's a beautiful, overarching way of summarizing the principle. Let me dumb it down for myself and others. Uh, things that use things should not also build those things. This is what we're doing here. So um, my logic class, let's find a logic class, which is like a presenter. It does not matter whether I send these dependencies in using constructor injection, that's all that we're doing here, or um, here, not only are we applying dependency injection, but I'm also passing in a service locator, sorry, constructor injection, let me try to get my words straight. So why are we doing this? Um, so we need to understand dependency and constructor injection does not mean you're not using a service locator you would never build your service locator in the class that uses the service locator. You don't want the class that uses these things to build these things. So how we solve that is we create some special part of our code and you heard this here first. This is my way of explaining this. Every component, every feature in your application has build logic. And build logic is the code which is required to, um, it's the configuration part. How do we wire things together? 
so that the, the thing that uses the things doesn't also configure and build the things. So what, I don't care what you do. You can use a service locator. You can use constructor injection. You can use field injection. You can use dagger. You can use hilt. But our goal here is we're pulling the code required to build things into its own special place of the application. We can do that using dependency injection. We can do that using a service locator. But the end, the overarching principle is separation of concerns. I talked about this earlier and you people think I'm crazy. No, I'm just joking. But a lot of people don't understand when I say in the most general sense at any perspective of software architecture, it means applying separation of concerns. And this is true of, the, of this principle as well. We're pulling the build logic out of the rest of the logic. So I hope that was uh, useful.